Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let's start with watching me. talking to Halsin. Where's the kid? Thaniel is resting, but it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. Can it be undone? Perhaps. If we can find Thaniel's lost half and make him whole again, only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep. Twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. Don't worry, I have experience in talking everyone into doing something they don't want to. Um, any ideas on how to find this missing half? No matter how it's been twisted by the shadows, it is still part of Thaniel's essence. It will resemble him somehow and may show signs of his power. Look for signs of life in the darkness. Wildflowers where everything else is dead. The curse cannot subdue the power Thaniel bears. Not entirely. In fact, I saw just the sort before. Not long after we first came within reach of the Shadow Curse. Fool that I am, I did not grasp their significance at the time. There is a ruin some way outside of Last Light. I caught a glimpse of fresh blooms there. But did not investigate further. I shall mark it upon your map. Thank you. <laughs> Once Daniel's essence is found, what then? In truth, I'm not sure. This is beyond all reckoning. It's still part of Daniel deep down, but it may not recognize that. Or want to recognize that. Perhaps it can be reasoned with... But I'm not hopeful. Reason is not something that thrives amidst the Shadow Curse. I met a sort of Shadow child before, a little boy named Oliver, around Tangle's age. And you saw this boy yourself? Mm -hmm. That can't be a coincidence, but we need to be sure. And I truly mean we, if you wish. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Finally! You me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute. Anything. Just say the word. Give I'll... me a moment. <laughs> Laser, you're staying. Greeting. Wait. Shook. <laughs> I've waited so long for this. Thaniel still suffers. There'll be no improvement until his essence is restored, I fear. I know. Uh, 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 I need you by my side, Elder. Good. Now our roots can deepen. Together. Oh, you have so many levels up to do. Oh my goodness. Okay. Circle of the moon. Draw its sworn to the moon. Draw on its mercurial nature to transform into massive creatures and primal elementals. Combat wild shape. Lunar mend. Expense puzzle to regain hit points while in wild shape. Uh, so you get all those? Yeah. Uh, Badger, spider, wolf, or cat, and bear. What spells do you have? Goodberry, I, mm, I, I will keep it. Entangle, I do. And uh, I don't think we want entangle. Oh, actually, give me the entangle. So many spells. Moonbeam. I like that. 
Thank you for changing the one I wanted, but no. Okay. Regulation from attacks increases armor class up to 16. <laughs> hmm. Another wild trip, the prof or dire raven. Can trip. Poison spray. Mm -hmm. And feet. I have no idea what are your stats. Wisdom. Cons a little bit of constitution. Mm. When a creature casts a spell within melee range of you, you have advantage on any saving throw against it, and you can use reaction to immediately make an attack against the caster. Yes. This is my favorite. Uh, for some reason, this is my favorite feat. Favorite. Daylight. Sleet storm. Call for a storm that disrupts the concentration of spellcaster, does fires and creates an ice surface. Call lightning instead of good. No, give me good berry. Um. Instead of this. Primal Strike. While in beast form, your attacks count as magical for the purpose of overcoming resistance and immunity to non-magical damage. Panther and Owlbear. Oh, I can't change to Owlbear. That's cool. More spells. Control Woodland Being. <gasps> Can I have both? I don't think so. This one has until rest, this one doesn't. So... Mm -hmm. Dominate beast, ice storm. Oh, ice storm is also nice. Oh, we don't need daylight, we have... The thingy. armor you can wear. Light or medium and shields. Still breathing. Um, everything. Let's see, I have something like this, I have something like this. I don't know if you will be using weapons. I'm just looking for anything, any things that I can give him. And shields. Unfortunately, it seems that I don't have any... Oh, right, this is the Come on. Really? They are both two-handed? Oh, he was using quarter stuff, so... While you are trying, you have advantage on the cross, you also create a blast with each attack doing 1 to 4 thunder damage for 3 meters. Give me that. We're gonna make you drink. Let's give you this. I 
I need some armor for you. Don't burn yourself. What the heck? Um, oh, is this one handed? I think that would be better. Not really. Main hand only, but with this I can give you a shield. And we need to buy you some more armor. Boots, armor and helmet. If possible. Still alive. Okay, someone else wants to talk? Very well. Where is Wither? Oh, actually. Already feeling better. I don't remember if I checked the dialogues. I think I'll enjoy traveling with Halson. Not for his wit or wisdom. He'll just make an excellent shield if we're attacked. We know that. Okay, I never ask. Are Casador's only spawn, or are there others like you? <laughs> Casador, sired seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family, even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all, but did take special pleasure in my pain. He said my screams sounded sweetest. Now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. That is a bit horrifying. Halson is one hench elf. I'm impressed. I'm glad he's on our side. Hmm. You got your second upgrade. How does it feel? Like I got something back. Something I've wanted for a really long time. When I touched you, I felt like... a real person. My heart was racing. But I didn't hurt you. I don't have to be afraid of myself anymore. I don't have to hold back. For now. <laughs> Not sure the world's ready for unleashed Karlak, but it's getting it anyway. Thanks to Damon. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks to fate. What you what will you do with your newfound freedom? Touch! Touch everything! Touch everyone that'll let me. Shake hands, dance a waltz. Maybe even kiss a face or two if I find a good candidate. The world's my fun house. I'm very glad you got what you wanted. Me too, soldier. Gods, me too. For every knock we take, I feel like I get a little treat just to keep me going. What about what Damon said? What about how your engine won't survive in the material plane? Ugh, I don't want to think about that now. Misery always overstays its welcome, and joy leaves too soon. I'll cry later, but not now. Okay. Ah, Halsin is such a delight. Woe to the cultist who tangles with that thick hunk of an elf. True that. Okay, uh, we does because I saw him enjoying a conversation with Arabella. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new oh. ally? Hey you. I made it. Easy peasy. Good. You find mum and pops? I haven't found them yet. Well hurry. They gotta be somewhere. And I don't want them worrying. Well, they are neat. I'll teach you to conjure those vines. Yeah, I just have no idea where to even start. 
start looking. Okay, um... Oh, we really are supposed to meet Oscar. Something good here, I hope. Well, at least we got rid of Mummy and Daddy. Oliver, not Oscar. I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Daniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. Go I on, mm. find someone else to play with. I forgot to buy armor for Halsen. I know who you really are, and where you really belong. You need to reunite your final. Spoil sport. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. Like it or not, you don't belong here. Yes, I do. You can't make me do anything. <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. A slippery little bugger, isn't he? He'll be looking for somewhere safe. Somewhere where the shadows are nice and strong. You know something about that, don't you? Do we have to see invisible? Not anymore. Oh, right, by the way. She's so cute. And... okay. Wild shape. Ow, bear! Wait, uh... Prowl. Blindness, and some light. And whip, distract, meow, go, barrow, okay. Let's move. Moving in. Oh, shadow portal. Okay, before we go inside. Oh, there's some poison damage. I hear fight happening? Oh my goodness. Wait. He really? Oh, and he brought his mommy and daddy with him. Click heals. I don't know why the game is lagging so much. Give it a moment. It should be better. I hope it will get better. Okay, fine. Come on. Oh, she can even go hit the night dome already. Wait. I forgot about the rage again. have rage. God damn it. Unfortunately go. I made a star on fearful. Nice. 
Oh. God damn it. Just keep on smacking the dome. Of course. Said that. You cannot hit them all. I don't know why I cannot hit them both. Because it's too far. Do it. I just wanted to do that. But I believe he's gonna spawn them on each turn. Yes, you must. For the earth causing debris. Okay, this won't be targeted. Oh, she can hit. I don't know why I'm so surprised about that. So, oh, go over there. It comes easy these days. You heal yourself. I don't think he can be thrown or past. No, he was saving. Can I do it? No. Oh, by killing them, we are hurting the. Dome. So it's actually fine. If I hack you, hack you. Okay, I don't want to hurt her. Why are you doing this? Because we can. Almost done. You hit it. Can 
can I give it to someone? Nope. Shot her. <laughs> Kill Daddy. Why oh, you just leave me alone. Why can't I just stay here playing? I had everything I've ever wanted right here. You've ruined it. I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the day. You have no idea. I think he's inside house. And <laughs> oh. You have what you want, but not what you need, Taniel. He's your friend, your kin. He's you. He's nothing to me. He left me here all this time. I had to do everything for myself. Even when it was scary, even when I was alone. I didn't give up. Nobody's to blame here. The cross story to a part. Now we can be reunited. But would he even want me back? I've changed. A lot. Change is good. That's what what growing up is all about. Together, you two will become more than you were before. So I wouldn't have to make up friends to play with anymore. Mm-hmm. I'd have someone real. I'd like that. And he would too, I think. Alright. I'll do it. I want to do it. Well done. Are you crying? You're a bit big to be crying. But I suppose that's okay. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my goodness. I... It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can. Yep, the camera was inside housing all this time. It is done. Now Thaniel will be whole again. I could not have done this without you, my friend. We should return to camp when we can. I must see how Thaniel is faring. With the Oak Father's blessing, the Shadow Curse may soon be no more. Okay, he's out of the owl bear shape. <laughs> Where is he here? Breathe deep. The druid Halsin spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor, still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being, for the land to heal. Catherick Thorne must die. Of course it won't be that easy. A private word would be nice. Oakfather preserve you. I meet a peer of yours, the druid Jahira. Do you know her? Only by a reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. You're an arch druid. What could you possibly have left to learn from anyone? No matter how long I live, I will always strive to remain a keen pupil. 
Only a fool would think he could drink in all knowledge until none is left. There is always more. Nature's tapestry is infinitely complex. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence. And perhaps work to a common goal. You've spent all these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happens once it's lifted? Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Of course, I only wish you'd join me earlier. So do I. But one duty at a time. Hmm. What happened before when the Shadow Curse was unleashed? Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise and, after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows, became part of the shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse, I had to lead the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. Inauspicious? Sounds like you did what you had to, and saved lives. You are right, but I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. Hmm. I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? Don't take this the wrong way, but you're quite large for an elf. I am? <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. Not like I had any choice in the matter. Um, any idea how that came about? Who's to say? <laughs> Perhaps there's a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Stranger things have most certainly happened. Hmm. How did you come to be a druid? Hmm. I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. But eventually I realized no one else had heard of him. It was Daniel, of course. Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. You have people out there somewhere. Family, friends. A lover, perhaps? <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? <laughs> Maybe. Save for me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now. Near the shade of the Grandfather Tree. The Grove became my family. With Sylvanus as my teacher. And now I have you.
You didn't answer the part about lovers. I'm 350 years old. Damn. Of course there have been lovers. Just because I love nature doesn't mean I'm betrothed to it. Though sometimes nature needs reminding. Hold on, nature needs reminding of what exactly? Well, uh, I didn't pick this scar up in battle. I was in wild shape. Only I forgot it was the season when bears are particularly social. A she-bear claimed me as her own and did not appreciate being spurned. Okay, and uh, how about now? Right now? I bed down alone, I'm afraid. Perhaps once I talk less of curses and parasites, my fortunes will improve. Tell me something about yourself that I wouldn't even think to ask. Hmm. Um, I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature? <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. <laughs> Whittling, what do we make? Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. So you turn into a bear and you like honey, a little on the nose. I like what I like. Once you get to my age, you realize there's little point in denying yourself, so long as others aren't affected. Tieflings have a lifespan around the same as humans. Thank you. Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. I live in mortal fear of krakens, though I've never actually seen one. Well, they are fierce creatures from what I understand. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. Anytime. Anyone else wants to talk? No? Great. We talk so much that I tend to forget what we are supposed to do right now. And about those plaques. Plaques? Um, I suppose there was something open, but I... Nothing you. Hmm. Okay, so what else do we have left to do? The. Catherine Tom. Oh, also, this is the mausoleum. I, there was some mausoleum to the left over here as well. Just wondering if that was it. Hidden treasure in Moonrise Tower. Um, probably there's a road here. Danger and death. I see. Yep, I remember that. Um, and that might lead us to Gifyanki Crash. Do I want to do that? Oh, ledger, right, um, to quickest from the inn, this way. We yeah. rallied here once, years ago, before the assault on Moonrise Towers. The Archdruid at the time spoke to us all, inspiring our courage. He was a fine leader. That's interesting. Um, over here? Mm, might as well. Oh, we are cursed. The long rest. 
Oh, I have 11 HP. Okay. Um, on me, please. Although I think we will be resting. We have another one. Wait, I have speaking with animals on. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. How do you know I have the ledger? The raven always knows. Tell me why you want it. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. Fine. We have it. Her lies. Her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. I would like to hear her story first. I imagine it's quite a tale. Careful! For a serpent in life is a serpent in death. Okay, so we get the letter back? No. Witness. <sighs> you. He said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Interesting. Why don't you tell me what happened? I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was gonna chat with him. She promised. Hmm. If it was drunk complaining, why did you report them? The Dark Justice, you're said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. Yours is a classic tale of cowardice. Were your character in a tale of mine, I would kill you off immediately. Oh, that's a little bit harsh on the end. When I tell this tale, you won't be the villain. I promise. The Dark Justicious is to blame. What I did was wrong, and I won't ever forgive myself. But hearing that just one person doesn't hate me, that one person forgives me, makes the load so much lighter. Thank you. You were supposed to make her suffer, not forgive her! You, <laughs> you whine more than she did. I thought us of one mind. I see now I was wrong. You have crossed me. 
And for that, I end your pathetic life! Okay, give me a moment here. Burden of time, ooh. Be some humanoids with disadvantage on civic throws while within three meters of this creature. Elves are unaffected by this temporal magic. I mean, you're... Kinda? Yeah, he is an elf. <laughs> I had to think this through. Bloodless. Why is he happy? You have been judged and found wanting. I've got it. probably are if they care yeah the stuff okay mm -hmm. unfortunately there's no way for us to move around him really next layer Oh, who did I kill? He who was? What ails my mind? The queen was clear. A full retreat to the shadow fell with all due haste. You beheld the fate of lover's whisper. After a ten day in the darkness, she knew not her name. These lands are rich in tragedy and memory, but our minds are vulnerable to the malignant curse. Lover's whisper strangled her own raven this morn. Her raven. The queen was incensed at the loss of her child and struck Lover's Whisper down, as was her right. Return at once, or I will be forced to report your desertion of Tyne Will. Oh. I don't really want to. Ah, let's stick Time to press it. Ahead. Let's leave it. Take it this way. I can't go up. It was... What was here? Alright, that place. Okay, okay, okay. It's coming back to me. Mm. I would like to go to the... Oh, kinda to the crash. Or that way, but let's look around the mausoleum. Still don't want to go in here just yet. There was another mausoleum. Or maybe not? No, there was. Wait, what was. I thought I saw some shadow in the. Oops, not here. Um, in the house of healing. But I'm not so sure anymore. I don't. I'm. What? Wait, 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 come back here. What's inside? True love's caress. One of a magical pair of rings. This allows the rare to receive forwarding bond from the pretty ring the matching ring. Aww. In the fifth year of our union, we faced the biggest hurdle yet. My parents became quite ill, and we became their care caretakers. It was a dark and difficult time, filled with emergencies of every possible type. Gone were the e easeful days in which our time was our own, 
our days were filled with work, each other, and little else. During our darkest moments, I wondered if we would survive it. But the bond of love we had was resilient. It could bend and bend and bend, but would not break, no matter the pressure. Steam? Okay. No, I'm not giving him this ring yet. Calm yet. Because I remember someone on the road here. Or uh, was it here? No, this is the entrance to the house of here. So definitely not this way. By the way, can you heal yourself? Please do. And everyone, please follow me. I have no idea why everyone but me stopped. Come on, guys. I don't want anything bad to, ha to happen to you. Up here. Yep. This is where I saw them. So, let's take care of them. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that hurts. or club required <laughs> I'll give it that later so much for peace. I should be able to cast a very nice spell Maybe I will have to. So great club is not go no good. Okay. Survival is all that matters. Hey, I'm not good at dealing damage. His all oh, right. Aid. 
there this time. Not dead. Can you come closer? No. I can't even catch my breath. Don't you have your pew has my sister? I want you to hide. Doing great. Believe me, on it. She's not coming this way. He is. Why everyone has? <laughs> Multiple attacks, and I'm basically the only one that doesn't. Just wondering. Um, God damn it. No. She is alive. Come on. It's a shame that this doesn't count towards the attack of opportunity. And I meant, oh, it's Morgue, not Mausoleum. So I, I stand corrected. Frosted fires and tents. The Absolute's army is camped here. Better not press my luck. I think it's best that we ooh, do a short rest. Okay, so this is just another way around. 
to the House of Healing. Let's go into that morgue. And I don't know one really expected us to do this. There's another way to go around from the Grand Mausoleum to the Mason's Guild. Which is interesting. There's still this area near the Moonrise Stars. There's this bridge. Eh, hey, where are you going? notice. A reminder, sisters, do not forget that patients passing through these hallowed halls must, need, must needs be stripped of such frivolous items as jewelry, timepieces and extraneous gold amounts. These burdens can be safely stored in the vault behind the hidden wall, that they are not con that they not confuse matters between ourselves and the Kefric's justiciers. We'd like to avoid misunderstandings if possible. Ooh, ring of trading. Strange tendril amulet. Okay, nothing. I keep forgetting about you. I will let you out once we are done with the shadow cars. I think that's fair. You're still talking, so you're still alive. Uh, I saw that body just flop. So I am gonna end this part here. So now, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.